Welcome back. The Heartland Apple Group is based in Nelson and is responsible for creating and marketing the apple variety known as Eve. Richard Hoddy, David Easton, Michael Thompson and Neil McCliskey got together when they were part of an orchard monitoring group in 1993. Following the deregulation of the local market in 1995, they decided to market their own fruit collectively. We have three key functions. First is growing, the second is the harvest, and then the third is the storage. And the first two occur out here. So right through the process, it's about keeping really, really tight controls over what's happening and trying to take the variability out of tree to tree, row to row, block to block. So quality control is paramount, whether it's pruning, you know, we expect our pruners to count the number of buds they're leaving on the trees. Thinning, it's uh, not just about how many apples on the trees, it's where they're left, how many leaves, is it the right sort of leaf around the apple? And at this time, the harvest, it doesn't matter what you do, if you get the harvest wrong, the eating quality is going to be compromised. We're down now to the four growers, but collectively we're producing a million cartons. So in the Nelson region, there's about uh, five and a half million cartons produced. So we're significant, but you know, over the whole country where there's maybe 20 million cartons gross, 15 million cartons exported, we're still relatively small, but you know, not so small that we're insignificant. I think as a group, our strength is the collective vision and agreement that the main thing we're here to do is produce an apple that somebody really is going to enjoy eating. So that flows backwards to the orchards. So if we're going to have that, we can't have compromise around logistics. The, the logistics chain has to fit the fruit, not the other way around. Volume can't get in the way. And people have to be really geared up on their orchards and make sure that all their processes from pruning right through, and particularly at harvest, doesn't allow compromise of that end goal. The business is in a stage on the domestic market is growing and on the export side of things I'd call it hold and maintain at the moment. For us our market is foodstuffs, the pack and save, new worlds and four squares. They have quite strong views about what they want and how they want the fruit to look and so we meet their requirements. Hopefully we exceed them, we're trying to bring new ideas in terms of packaging and presentation, make their life a little easier where we can, and try and add some value to their business, because after all, they're the customer, and if we're not adding value to them, then they'll be looking for someone else to you know, do it instead of us. In here is where we're packing the export fruit, and it's a bigger operation than the domestic arm, and that's because the fruit has to be packed in a shorter time frame to get into the markets as quickly as possible, because the New Zealand marketing window really finishes late August, early September when the Europeans and the Americans start harvesting their own crop. At the front end, we've got Compact Technology, which is a New Zealand company who have invested heavily in sorting equipment, and we've got defect and colour recognition. So we're using technology to help do some of that sorting process. We still have people doing it, but we're trying to assist wherever possible. After that, the fruit is again colour graded into the various grades that the customers request. And as you can see down the line, there's a lot of different pack types, different sizes. Every customer really has their own preference and our job is to try and make sure that they get the specification that they ask for. Hartland contracts Nagan Lalu from Plant and Food Research at Harvest Time to help improve post-harvest management. We cover all aspects relating from pre-harvest and harvest aspects, uh, harvesting the fruit at the right stage, handling it in the appropriate manner to avoid bruising and maintaining all the various other uh, aspects within that, taking it into some sort of storage system, optimising that storage system. There's a number of storage technologies available to a group like this. They start with refrigeration, low temperature storage, through to sophisticated things like the dynamic control atmosphere storage. The challenges lay in the fact that different varieties have different requirements, different atmosphere adjustments, different timings, different temperatures, uh, different harvest stages, and meeting the market requirement, which may not be immediate or short term, but much, much longer term. Eve is one of our real success stories. 
It's an apple that was found uh, growing on David's orchard that he nurtured from 1990 onwards. And it's an apple that has uh, really gained some acceptance in New Zealand, or particularly in the South Island and, and now into the North Island. It's an apple that uh, you can eat now, but as it sellers and matures in storage, the flavours really start to, to come out as the acidity declines and the sweetness starts coming through. Wonderful apple for maintaining its texture and crunch and really is consistent and reliable. So the origin of the apple is from Braeburn, but it's, as you can see it's got a beautiful rosy red colour that goes right round the apple with just a little bit of background coming through, um, which helps us to determine when's the optimum time to eat. Um, it has a sweeter profile than Braeburn and has a, a finer texture and it's full of juice and it really does develop uh, wonderful flavours and beautiful sweetness and acidity balance um, as time moves on. Nelson has an amazing climate. We've got the most sunshine hours of the, anywhere in New Zealand and we're close to the sea so we've got cool nights, moderate days and this apple was found in Nelson. It really is the archetypal Nelson apple. There's nowhere else in the world that this apple grows better. And as you can see, when you're producing a product like this, that's got all the goodness of the Nelson region in it, you know, it's really hard not to get excited about this. Because David found the apple, he owns the plant variety rights, and as a group, we own the trademark. So it's, it's something that we can control, and we can make sure that there's no uh, stuffing it up, because you know, it really is our product. With the quality control at, at, around the maturity, we do the industry standard, but where we vary is that we link it with dry matter prediction, which is done right throughout the growing season. And so the work we're doing now on maturity is, is clean assessing is going to occur in the blocks. And the other thing that we do is all that data is submitted to the packhouse before the fruit arrives. So it's electronically sent into the information system at the packhouse. And when they receive that fruit, they've already made their decisions about where it's going to go, what's going to happen to it. And it's based on a marketing plan. So this, the guys selling the crop are reviewing that all the time and trying to optimise what they can get out of that fruit. One of the challenges for the industry is to be able to convince people that your apples are better than someone else's, because effectively they all look similar. And it's not till you eat them that you pick up those differences. Collectively under the Apple and Pear Board or Enza when it was a single desk, you know, you had huge critical mass, you could get a new product going, you had everybody in New Zealand committing to investment into those products, into the market, and you created a big splash in a short time. Much more difficult today, because we're so fragmented and so small. So New Zealand, in some ways, has become more of a niche player rather than mainstream. And so we're all struggling to find how we actually put into action you know, those strategies. But yes, variety differentiation and new varieties is the principal way that people change. The Eve apple accounts for 20% of the apples Heartland produces. When we return, I'll be talking about the ETS with the National President of Federated Farmers, Don Nicholson. <laughs>